and is the president and founder of Paquin Design Build, known for its delivery of well-designed, quality crafted custom homes along Maryland's eastern shore. Prior to finding his company, Brent began acquiring knowledge and experience of the industry with a traditional educational track, and then by designing and man managing businesses for many of the area's better known builders and architects. Brent continues his group and the industry with the recent addition of Beacon, Point Homes, Paquin Interiors, and a commercial division, PDB Commercial. So everyone, I welcome to the stage, this up here, um, Brent Paquin. specifications for contracts. So these three companies 
from the time I was 17 to the time I was 22, helped me to become very well-rounded within the industry. And that led me to my next step, which is opening the doors to Packwood Design Build at 22 and a half years old. I had a very strong desire to build something of my own. I was living in the basement of my parents' house, working out in my father's garage, but I knew I could do it, and I focused in. And to be honest, at 22 years old, living at my parents' house, I didn't have a lot to lose. So I just dug in. <laughs> but what I recognized with this was there were strong, trusted relationships that I needed to create to be able to grow this company. I hired my aunt as my bookkeeper, who's still with me today. My father's been beside me every step of the way, still is today. And then I hired a lot of friends and like-minded employees to be carpenters, office staff, managers, to help us grow this company. And then from there, as we grew, I created very strong relationships out externally as well. Banks, engineers, subcontractors, suppliers, all these people helped us to grow as well. They carried us through some tough times too. And it was a true partnership because we were able to help them grow their companies too. But to kind of get back to carrying through the tough years, we started in 04, 08, 09 comes around, the stock market crashes. It really affected the construction industry. So we built this company up over a four year period to 12 employees that now had to go back to six employees. Had anywhere from six to eight jobs going on at a time to hopefully three to four jobs now. So we really had to go back to the basics. And there were some days that we didn't know whether we were going to make it or not. But I told myself I'd never quit. I dug in, I worked really hard, and I relied on these partnerships that I had grown over these years. They believed in me, I believed in them. Some of them would extend pay term limits for me so that I could save business, so that I could sign more contracts, so that I could give them more work. So it was a trusted partnership, true partnership that we had. And still so, that. But in 2011, 2012, we started to see the light. Leon Morris, who we met in the first slide, gave us the opportunity to build his custom home in Dorchester County. And it really helped us to get back on track to where we wanted to be. And from there, in 2014, we partnered with a developer who I had created a relationship with, who had a community in St. Michael's, a waterfront community in St. Michael's. And they didn't have a partnership with the builder set to really make this happen. So I told them I thought I'd be the right person for that. They believed in me. But they asked me, we need you to build a model in the community. Well, I didn't have the capital to do so, but I did have a banking relationship where they allowed me to build my own personal house and use it as a model for the community. So that's what we did. 2004, we started construction. 2000, excuse me, 2014, we started construction. 2015, we completed but it took us 14 more months to get our first contract in the community. So we sat there for a year, not knowing if we made the right decision or not. But towards the latter half of 2016, we signed a contract for a beautiful home. We built that home and by 2017, we signed multiple contracts, the same in 18. And here we are at 19, and we're just about ready to finish up that community. So we're very excited, we're very proud, that it has become a success. So we've survived some, some different times, right? There's going to be good years. There's going to be some good years, but there will be bad years as well. That's a fact. It's what you do in these good years that will help you through these bad years. Build your relationships, save, grow, and diversify. Build the systems to help you through any type of economy setting that we may be in. For example, what we've done here recently is started three sister companies to Packman Design Build. Beacon Point Home being one, 
where we build moderately priced homes, still beautiful, quality homes, but value engineered with different products for any of today's families. Something we're very excited to get started. We just signed our first contract to build a home, and we're looking to see this succeed over the next few years. Paquin Interiors. Paquin Interiors is a kitchen and bath showroom that we, we opened up in February in Graysonville, Maryland. We're very excited about this. We provide cabinets, countertops, tile, hardwood, carpet, faucets, light fixtures. Everything that you could need for the interior selections of a kitchen and bath renovation. But not only does it do that, it helps our pack with design build clients who select everything on their home. They personally can touch and feel every product that they're putting in their house. This makes it very efficient for our clients to come to one place, pick everything that they need for their home. It's also efficient for our staff. We have kitchen designers, interior designers, so they're able to work with them at our location and make it more efficient for their time as well. So this is something that we're very excited about. And uh, the first few months of it being open, we feel like it's been a success. And then there's PDB commercial. So what we did is we defined our commercial product to let people know we're not just building high-end homes, but we can build your commercial project as well. We've done a mixed-use building with a retail departments above. We've done a very unique horse stable with offices and tack rooms with two apartments above for the staff to stay right on the property. And then we just finished up, in addition to the Chesapeake Bay Beach Club in Stevensville, for a brand new wedding venue on their property with 270 degree views of the Chesapeake Bay something we're very proud of. It turned out very beautiful. So to get back to why I brought up these three sister companies, is getting back to the idea of diversifying and growing your company. If people are not willing, depending on the economy setting we're in, building second homes in St. Michael's, these high-end Packard design build product, Maybe they're going to renovate their kitchen or bath. Or maybe we're in a place where more moderately priced homes are being built. Or the commercial industry is on the rise. So we're building more commercial projects. This makes us more well-rounded and able to deal with whatever the economy may throw at us. But again, none of this is possible without the strong partnerships that we've created over the years. The bankers that helped us to open the doors to pack with interiors and renovate for a show. The suppliers who are now giving us wholesale pricing so that pack with interiors can get those products at the right price. And our subcontractors that understand that a Beacon Point home doesn't need the level of attention that a pack with design build product needs, so they adjust so that we can make sure that we're still moderately priced with that product. So these I'll help you to grow. And remember something. During these growths, there will be doors that open, and there will also be doors that close. But it's these new doors that open, and these growing relationships that you have that will carry you to these new places. So building and sustaining a business here on the Eastern Shore. You've heard me say a lot about the relationships and the partnerships. It's all about that. You need those to grow. Pay attention to your partnerships. And here's what I've learned along the way. Always give people respect. Respect is something that everyone should have and expects to have, no matter what position they're in. Common ground. Find common ground outside of the business world to have with your partners. Whether it be you both have children, you both like to play golf, you both like to go fishing, or you both root for the same sports team. Whether it be talking about these things or actually going and doing them together, it's such a great idea to make sure you have a personal relationship with these people. And give them a chance to prove themselves. 
so that they may grow their company as well. Refer your business partners. For me, I refer my roofer, pool contractor, plumber, to my friends and family. So what I'm telling them is, not only will I do business with you in the business world, but I trust you enough to go and do work for my loved ones. The ultimate compliment that I can give to them. Social media, we all know social media has a huge platform in our lives. Give thanks to your business partners through social media. A well, job well done. Or just put an ad out there for them through your social media so that you may be able to help them get more followers, followers through social media. This can never hurt, it can always help. So here we are, it's 2019. We're 15 years in business. We started this as a small renovation company in 2004. We built it to a custom design build firm. And some might say that 15 years in business that it's lucky to be able to do that. But what I know is pure determination, sweat equity, and of course, everyone that has a little success should say that luck does come into play. But what I do realize is starting and sustaining a business. You must prepare for what the world will throw at you, keep your mind open to new ideas, Add the right people and systems that will nurture the growth of your company. Stay away from complacency. Be willing to get in the trenches when needed. And most of all, build solid business relationships to support your mission. Acknowledge where you are today. Visualize where you want to be tomorrow. Work tirelessly to get from point A to point B. You will not regret the joy and the sense of accomplishment that you feel from doing this. I do it every day by designing and building homes for my clients. And I couldn't imagine doing anything else. So I encourage you all to follow your dreams, build your businesses, plan well, put in the work necessary. Surround yourself with the right people. Take advantage of the unique business environment that we have here on the Eastern Shore. There's partnerships out there waiting for you all. So form them, <coughs> nurture them, and get started on that. Thank you very much for letting me share this with you today. It's been an honor, and I hope this has helped you in some way. And I wish all of you the best of luck in all of your business ventures. Thank you.